Welcome to FinStats. In this video we are going to describe about descriptive statistics in R. Hi before proceeding request you to subscribe the channel. You learn about descriptive statistics in this tutorial, which is one strategy you might employ in exploratory data analysis. One approach to do this is to use the Tdivers DPLYR summarize function. The summarize function is frequently used in conjunction with group by to summarize each group into a single row summary. Let's take airline data set for analysis. Let's load the data set. The mean, total number of data points, standard deviation, quartiles, and extreme values can all be displayed in summary statistics. In these statistics, any NA values are automatically skipped. The summarize function helps you understand how your variables are distributed. Our dataset can also include categorical variables. These are variables with discrete values that can be classified into different categories or groups. Using the count function is one technique to summarize categorical data. Box plots are a wonderful way to visualize numeric data since they allow you to see the data's various distributions. A box plot depicts the data's median or the location of the middle data point. The 75th percentile is represented by the upper quartile, whereas the 25th percentile is represented by the lower quartile. The interquartile range is the data between the upper and lower quartiles. The lower and upper extremes are next. Above the 75th percentile, these are computed as 1.5 times the interquartile range, and below the 25th percentile, they are calculated as 1.5 times the IQR. Finally, Outliers appear as separate dots outside the upper and lower extremities on box plots. Outliers, as well as the distribution and skewness of the data, can be clearly identified using box plots. A scatter plot is an excellent method to represent the relationship between two variables. In a scatter plot, each observation is represented by a point. The relationship between the two variables is depicted in a scatter plot. The predictive variable is the one that you are using to make a prediction. The variable you are trying to forecast is known as the target variable. In a scatter plot, the predictive variable is usually plotted on the x axis, horizontal axis, while the target variable is plotted on the y axis, or vertical axis. That's all in this video. Okay, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching the video. For more information visit finstats.com.